Our next guest promises not to take up a latte of your time, but they do want to invite you over for a quick brew. With the help of Destination Brian, our next Brian legend highlight is none other than Polite Coffee. So we're sitting here with Steve, the proud owner and founder of the coffee shop. Okay, so tell us, why did you decide to open up your business? Yeah, so first of all, I appreciate the dad joke there. Um, <laughs> it's really easy to do in our line of work, where you stay on the grind. Um, but um, I like that. Yeah, so I was in Afghanistan in 2014, um, just drinking really bad coffee in a tent <laughs> yeah. and missing home. And I decided, well, you know what, I'm gonna start a coffee business and I'm going to uh, do it in, in homage of Texans who I miss. Um, and so that idea kind of spiraled into polite coffee and got home, went to Texas A&M, got a degree in finance and started working toward um, that vision ever mm -hmm. since. And four years ago, almost the day, I was able to start Polite Coffee in my barn, um, just out wow. outside of town. And then during the COVID, the pandemic, I partnered with my, my current business partner, and that's what got us into the Cowell House. That is, that cool is amazing. Story, yeah. And you know, Polite Coffee is so awesome. You'll have all kinds of stuff, whether it's just the beans itself, with the drinks that you're ordering, or new technology that you yeah. guys are using. Yeah. yeah, I appreciate you mentioning that. I always forget to bring that up. But that is, so we've, we've got this cool historical house, um, namesake of Kyle Field, live there. Um, but beyond that, we have invested a lot in the technology. Um, so hopefully that shines through in our product. And then you get a, a smile from a barista that, that serves you. So that we try to bring the whole package. A little bit of history, a little bit of um, technology, and a little bit of charm. Nice. And so you guys just celebrated a birthday. Yes, ma'am. Happy birthday. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and so with that, what has been your favorite part of yeah. like opening up the shop? Yeah. Texas? Well, um, really when that March 2nd, I got calls, texts, emails. Um, you, when you're behind the roaster all the time and are you bringing in pallets of coffee, mm -hmm. you forget how you, the kind of impact you're making. And so just getting all those texts and emails, has been really rewarding of just hey like congrats for making it four years like you've been a blessing that's been really neat um seeing the conversations that happen inside the shop um people growing and and moving on in life and maturing all, all under our house under yeah. our roof that's been really cool to see so the people obviously the people has been awesome that is cool and you know yeah. what you're really smart people say when you love something invest in it yeah. and that's exactly what you did <laughs> yeah. that's right so that is smart that's right that's yeah. right it's really not working i mean i i start my day with my product so mm -hmm. I, that's like the best thing about it is like i get to wake up and and uh start my day with polite so i love that I, i'll never lose the enthusiasm for that as long as i have taste buds. Nice. Well, I need to head down to Polite Coffee. Yeah, yeah. Polite Coffee Absolutely. is actually the very first coffee shop that I ever went to when I moved to nice. Texas. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. I actually met Abigail from Destination Brian there. She was the first <laughs> person I met. Really? And Polite Coffee that was the first awesome. place we met at. Yeah. That makes me see. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> right? cool. Yeah, like being um, in San, a, a coffee shop in San Antonio and seeing a sticker on the on somebody's Nalgene yeah. of Polite Coffee like that. Like that, like wow, we're actually making like we're, somebody knows about us, mm -hmm. what we're doing here. So I appreciate that. That's awesome. Wonderful, oh, nice. Steve. Right. Thank you so much yeah, for joining us. Appreciate you. And thank Beyond the Peanut Butter and Jelly Sandwiches for your kids' next lunch meal. Little's Lunches has some simple yet creative ideas coming up next.